While I was at New York Comic Con, I got into the Funko booth and purchased a massive bag of figures. And now before I show you guys what's inside, I wanted to take a look at the bag because it looks pretty sick and I like the characters across the bottom, they're well done. And now let's start with this, which is the flyer they give you when you get in line and it's to show you all of the exclusives that you're able to purchase. Here's the front and then if you guys want to take a look at the back, here it is. And I thought this was a pretty cool keepsake to have because it shows you every single one of the things that released during New York Comic Con in 2022 and if you guys want to take a look at it this is all of the exclusives like there's a lot of them oh and I was also able to get a shot of the booth while I was in there and what was still available when I got up to the front and there was a good amount of stuff there was just a couple things missing that I would have wanted to purchase like the going Mary with Luffy and I know what a lot of you guys are probably thinking Tristan aren't you just purchasing this because it's expensive no my brother is a big fan of One Piece has watched the entire show so I wanted to get it for him it's just too bad I couldn't and then I'm trying to think of some other stuff that sold out oh right the pop town Peter Pan Skull Rock with Smee. That one was one that I was looking for, as well as the Funko t-shirt and the Nightmare Before Christmas bag with zero. And then I think that was about it. Or at least that's all the stuff that sold out that I was on the hunt for. But the good news is I was still able to get a lot of stuff. And I guess we'll start with this one here. One of my favorites from this year, the Rubik's Cube. I mean, come on, take a look at this. Like it is a really well done figure. It falls under the retro toys line. And what I love about this thing is that it's actually like mixed up in about the exact same size as a real Rubik's Cube. And I think the craziest part about this figure is that it's number 108 in the Retro Toys line. Like, didn't they just start last year? Alrighty, then after the Rubik's Cube, I got this one here. Another really great figure. This one is Swamp Fire from Ben 10. And the reason that I got this one is because when I was younger, I used to watch the show a lot, but also it's the first Ben 10 figure and they can't just make Swamp Fire. So I feel like if I didn't pick up this one at the con, it would have got way more expensive in the future. And so because I wanted this one for my collection, I made sure to get it so I wouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg for it later. And also on the backside here, you'll notice that they only put the logo and that's what they usually do when there's a bigger line coming soon. Because I remember Funko did it for a couple different characters like Ted Lasso, The Mandalorian, Cassie and Andor, stuff like that. Where the one figure released at the con, then a couple months later they did the rest of the wave and then everybody wants to go back and pick up this one because it's the first figure that released and they're probably not going to be making another Swamp Fire. Then what do we have next? Oh, a pretty popular one. This is the Statue of Liberty from Spider-Man No Way Home. And I thought this was a perfect figure to have at New York Comic Con, of course, because the Statue of Liberty is in New York. I mean, this is obvious, but I do think it's really fun when they do stuff like this, and I've been able to pick up every single Statue of Liberty figure they've done so far, because there was this one, as well as the Hello Kitty Statue of Liberty, and then the Freddy Funko as the Statue of Liberty, so three. Or at least I think that's all they've made. I don't know, I hope that's all of them. Oh, and if you guys are curious about any other figures on the back of the box, there isn't anything besides the first wave, and I think it's kind of funny that they didn't add the other ones which would be like MJ as well as Ned but maybe this one was supposed to release a little while ago and it got pushed back probably something like that and then everybody, oh, this one is very nice. I think you guys are going to like this one. It is Borat, another one that I definitely had to pick up. And now again, with this one, it just has the Borat logo on the back of the box. And so now I don't know if they're going to be making more of them because he is the main character, but hey, you never know. Like really, if you were to pick up something from Borat, he's probably the only person you would want to get. So an entire line doesn't really make sense. Plus, I noticed that they chalked this figure full of detail, so it's probably going to be the only one. Like seriously, it is a perfect pop with the American flag in one hand and then his duffel bag in the other. Now let's get into this one here, the Polaroid camera. Again, a pretty unique one, especially because this one hardly even looks like a pop. Like the only reason you could say it looks like one is because of the way they did the buttons in the middle or like whatever they are on the actual Polaroid camera. They're like pop circles, but even those are different colors. So it's kind of hard to tell. And I feel like if somebody had this on like a table or their desk without the box, you would not know it was a Funko Pop just from looking at it right away. Like maybe you would if you're a big collector, but I mean, looking at this thing quickly, you probably wouldn't. Oh, and I gotta say, I'm also really enjoying the box because they did it with those Polaroid colors. Like you can see the rainbow on the back there and then on the side, it's got the the same thing going across the bottom. Oh, and also going back to the number on the retro toys, this line has been going on. The ad icons have been going on since 2011 and they're only on 164. That's a little more like it. Then everybody, I got this one here. One that we did not even know was going to be at the convention. It was kind of like a surprise drop. But if you guys want to check it out, it is the Frightmare on Fun Street limited edition Freddy Funko and it's only 3,500 pieces. Like seriously guys, this is just such a crazy, crazy figure. I love how he's got the iHeart New York button. He's also got the Frightmare 
Nightmare on Fun Street shirt. And then on the back side, he's got the backpack and the con bag full of figures. And it was funny, when I was at the con, I saw a lot of people freaking out about this figure because we honestly had no clue that it was gonna be there. We saw it in the front window and then they also had it on this sheet here and that's all we knew about it. Now everybody, let's jump into the sodas. And it was pretty cool because I was able to get all five of them. And now let's just jump into it with the black light gray babe, limited to 5,500 pieces. Kind of a weird one, but definitely a neat exclusive. And so let's find out guys, are we gonna be getting the other colors? And I guess this is the normal one. So if it doesn't look like this, that's the chase. And I'm guessing before we open up any of these that we're gonna be getting one chase, that's my prediction. And so here we go everybody, let's find out what we got for this one. It is the normal black light gray bait, but still a really neat soda. And I gotta say the colors on this thing look amazing, especially the pink and blue together, it looks great. And now the next figure we're gonna be jumping into is Jon Stewart. And this is kinda cool because I know they did Larflees a little while ago, so maybe they're gonna be doing more from the Green Lantern franchise, I don't know. I think it'd be kinda neat to get a different one at every single convention, but that also might be a lot of them. I don't know, Funko, you do whatever works. And so here we go, guys. Let's get into the second one here and find out if we're gonna be getting the chase. And I believe this one is the glow-in-the-dark version. I'm not 100% sure. And so it looks like, guys, we got the... Can't tell yet, can't tell yet. He's got the ring on. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is it the chase? I'm gonna be honest, guys. I have no clue. And this is the common. But again, I don't have any of these in the collection, so it's still a great one to have. All right, now let's hop into the next one here, which is going to be Shuri. And I know that the new Wakanda Forever is coming soon, so this is definitely a cool one to have. And I believe for this one, it is also a glow in the dark. Actually, I don't know what the Jon Stewart chase was. I haven't checked yet. But I'm pretty sure from what I can remember, it was a glow in the dark one. And anyways, let's get into Shuri here and find out if we're gonna be getting that chase. And I believe she also might have some face paint on. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe this is. Hold on, I'm seeing it. If, uh, I can't tell yet. Uh, it might be. All right, let's find out here, everybody, if we did get the chase, and it is! You found the chase, Shuri Yellow Glow, limited to one out of 1,800. Hey, pretty rare. Cool, so one chase down, possibly two more to go, and let's find out with this one here, which is Phoenix, and I noticed that there is a massive New York Comic Con sticker on here, so there's probably gonna be a shared one underneath, if I were to guess, and I kinda wanna take it off with you guys. Yeah, yeah, there is. No, I don't really care about that, but I did think it was kinda funny. Oh, and I guess that means I do have an official New York Comic Con con sticker? Who wants it? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I I'm gonna keep it for myself. And so I guess, guys, let's find out with Phoenix. And the chase for this one is Dark Phoenix. So she's got red on instead of green. And this one, oh, I saw the green right away. But like I've said, with all of these ones here, I don't have any of them, so I don't really care which one I get. It's just the chase would be nice. All right, everybody, one more to go. And the last one we've got is Eric Draven from The Crow. And I know the chase is actually him with a crow on his arm, which is kind of a unique one. And so here we go. Let's find out if we got that chase. And I'm not gonna feel it because it will be a little bit different. And is there a crow? Is there a crow? I gotta be careful, I don't wanna wreck it. Um, I can't tell yet. It seems like there is not. And so there isn't for this one, but still it's a pretty neat soda. And I believe the only difference would be, I think this arm here would be up and then it's got the crow sitting on it, which is pretty unique because he is of course the crow. So you know what guys, one chase is not not bad out of five, especially because they are normally a one in six, so we're a little bit over average. And now the next thing I wanted to show you guys is all of the free stuff you get from going into the booth. Like, check out this. <laughs> I think that's everything. Um, yeah, looks like it. And so when you're going up to the front, you are able to get a lot of free stuff as well. And we were able to get most of the pins from the convention. And I wanted to show you guys which ones we've got here because they were giving these out. So we've got this Freddy Funko pumpkin, as well as a trick-or-treating skeleton, a Funko Witch on a Broom, this pretty spooky black cat, and then last but not least, this Freddy Funko Vampire, probably my favorite of the bunch. Oh, and then also this other random kind of stuff. They were giving out candy because of course it was a Halloween theme. So they gave us this Frightmare on Fun Street lollipop, and then we also got these Freddy Fun Fangs, which I'm definitely gonna be keeping one of these sealed. And I think I talked about these the other day, but it's just such a random thing to have, and I like the design on the top, it's kind of fun. Oh, and I've also gotta give a shout out to Savage Pops because he was able to help us out by getting one of these, one of the hardest things at the booth because of how few they had. If you guys don't know, it's supposed to be like an old hotel key and on the back side it says Freddy's Mystery Manor. Definitely a weird thing in my collection. 
Oh, and then also they were handing out posters and I was somehow able to keep this in pristine condition on the way home. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with this because I'm not sure yet, but take a look at this guys. The Funko and Loungefly presents Frightmare on Fun Street. It's the same as the bag, just printed on a poster. And if I'm not mistaken, all of the posters that they've been giving out recently are the exact same size. So I might have to try to get a frame that I can put all of them in and then swap it to whatever con I just went to. And so maybe I'll have to do a run to Michael sometime soon to do that because there's a couple other things I'd like to fix in the room as well. And now that's all the stuff that I was able to get from New York Comic Con at the Funko booth, but also the stores near me were getting in the shared exclusive. So let's go over to GameStop to see if they got anything new in terms of New York Comic Con. Okay, so here is the back section. And there is some new stuff. Like right away, I noticed Might Guy, which my brother Noah is definitely needing for his collection. Because I believe for the newer wave of them, this is the last common he needs. Yeah, I think so. And then to the left over here, I noticed this one from Wakanda Forever. Now I'm not going to be getting it today. And I know you guys might think I'm crazy for that, but I want to do a hunt closer to the movie releasing. And I feel I feel like I'll probably be able to find this one later. And then because we were talking about New York Comic Con exclusives, a little bit higher up, guys, they have Cell Second Form, and this is a really cool one. Even though I don't collect Dragon Ball Z, I can appreciate a good figure when I see one. Oh, and then up top here, guys, they have the Rocket and Groot Moment, normally exclusive to, I believe, Box Lunch. And this thing is amazing. I mean, look at the detail on it. The only thing I'm noticing is that the box is a little bit dinged up, so maybe I'll ask if they have another one. And if not, I'm probably still gonna get it. Because I mean, come on, guys, look at how cute they are. And then I think besides that, it's pretty much everything. Oh no, down at the bottom here guys, hold on. They have some of the newer kind of like cased figures, I guess we'll call them. Because they have the pop album from Mariah Carey, as well as Giannis, which I believe I saw last time. And they've also got another one of the Groot, who I do have in my collection. And then this brand new Wolverine. Definitely a cool cover. Alright, so now besides those, I think that's everything for back here. So let's go grab my pre-orders. Okay, so I went in looking for New York Comic Con stuff and came out with none of that, but let's still talk about it. And now I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I do have to say I ended up getting some pretty cool stuff and I feel like a lot of this is more Halloween-y. Let me know what you guys think. Because I don't know, I think you can count E.T. as a Halloween movie and then Five Nights at Freddy's is kind of spooky and then Tupac, I mean, not so much, but it's still a cool figure. And then I also got, oh, a little bit spookier, Cyrax. I never know how to pronounce this one from House of the Dragons. Let me know what you guys Thing. And then I did end up grabbing this one, guys. Seriously, the craziest thing that I saw today, the Rocket and Groot from Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. And what I'm kind of confused about is why is this one in a different style from the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy figures? Like, is it from like a short or something? Or maybe the comic book? Let me know in the comment section below. Or maybe it's literally just something fun that Funko wanted to create. I have no clue, but whatever it is, I'm glad I was able to get it because it is a pretty unique figure. And now here's the thing. Even though I didn't pick up any of the New York Comic Con stuff, they did still have sell. I just wanted to keep that for somebody else who enjoys Dragon Ball Z because personally I don't watch it. Oh, and you know what? I forgot I picked up this. I was able to get one of the Spider-Man Noir soda. So I guess let's crack it open to find out if we got that chase, which is him wearing his hat. And so here we go, guys. Let's hope we can end on a bang for today. And let's find out, because we did already get one chase. It would be nice to get two. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, this is not the chase, but hey, it's still a nice soda. And well, I guess it does make sense that I got the common because that now makes it a one in six. And anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.